Disney. We love you, Disney. So, yeah, no, we do. Look, and, and man, I mean, it's, you think about what they've been able to accomplish over as many years as they've been able to accomplish it and how they've, they're literally so sewn into the fabric of, you know, the USA's culture I'd and worldwide. worldwide. I mean, it is, it is unbelievable. And it really is tapped into imagination, tapping into, you know, just, just childhood innocence. Yeah. To me, that's what's allowed it to transcend generations. Of course, isn't that isn't that what the brand really stands for? Zero to ninety nine. Anybody. anybody. So you got to leave out all the stuff that can make anybody, you know, start to think outside of that. You want right. to keep it pure. I agree. And innocent. I agree. And you know that's that's Disney. You know, look, I, I, they're they're going through some bumpy times now. Mm -hmm. You know, um, yeah. Um, everyone's so Iger's back. Opinions. Iger's back. What Check they got rid out. of the other guy, right? Yep. You know, making hundreds of millions of dollars, uh, running a company. You know, um, yeah. so obviously, like, you know, let me think. Hmm, do I come back for seven hundred trillion dollars? Maybe, and we'll see what happens. I mean, there's yeah. a real. Uh, they're at a real sort of. I feel like at a at sort of a threshold right now yeah. for them as a company, trying to figure out which way they want to go. That's up to. Obviously, everyone and personal opinions and how yeah. Let us know how you feel about. Let us know how you feel about the that. direction Disney's been taking and how that relates to you and all that good stuff. We want to. I know for I'm some gonna, reason, like you can't find certain things on Disney Plus that you should be able to find. Well, I'm just like, gonna go out on brotherly a, love. Yeah, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and, and say that that DCOMs really have taken a dive. Oh yeah, yeah. no, nah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Disney yeah. Channel movies were iconic. Yeah, when we were growing up. Well, and when we were a part of them, and they were they were really relevant to young people. I know they were relevant and special and unique. They redid Home Alone. Oh, yeah, oh as a goodness. decom, I'm so I don't understand. Adventures with Babysitting. How do you? Re it's like doing Back to the Future as a decom. I like know. you don't even want to go there. You know why would you? To do me, this? it was the original. It was it's not the like Back to the Future. Back to the Future is one of the best movies of all time. But Ever. you get my point. It's like I was exaggerating there. No, being theatrical. Yes, dramatic. But, no, but to your point, it was the original. Disney Channel movies, the DCOMs that were unique. We did Horse Sense, we did Jumping Ship, but you did Going to the Mat. Yeah. You did The Other Me. Yeah. These were not built on things that you know things that were already done. These were original yeah, ideas, ideas and stories. The Other Me was a book, but yes, what? it was a book. Was it? But that's cool. Like, yeah, I mean, why not? Fine. Find a great book, make you know, make it right. into a movie. That's right, cool. But the when originals are are gone. I don't know what's I going know. on. Everything's got to be a reboot. Or a I even feel like a lot of the cartoons that they're that they're that they're doing now. Like you look at those classic, like um, like the Mickey Mouse like animation and stuff, and Goofy and Donald Duck and Chip and Dale. Dude, we used to we oh. going way back. Oh. You're going way back. Tom yes, and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. But, but that's not Disney. What about Recess? But, but Recess, another fabulous you know? original yeah. animated great show. Disney great. Channel series, mm -hmm. you know? Even like when my girls, when my oldest daughters now I can say, um, were were growing up, dude, we crushed Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb We was crushed, great. I mean, dude, like these were cool. Yeah, they yeah. were great. And I just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure, look, every company goes through its ups and downs. And, and as long as Disney's been at the top, I mean, I guess it's only natural for it to have, trying to, you know, self- Sort of like reflection, you know, it's their like, identity. They're, yeah, they're trying, they're to, trying figure to figure out their identity. Trying yeah. to figure it As out. As this, we move into this <clears throat> new, new world. world. There you go, yeah. movement, right? If you don't move, you get left behind. So they're trying yeah. to trying to adapt. And yeah, evolve and but stay I feel relevant. like at the end of the day, like quality never gets old. Absolutely. You know, I just hope that they can get back to where all the politics are out of it. Right, right, right. Right. That's what. Right. That's what my big thing is. Like, well, let's just get. Let's. Just, why, why can't yeah. we get back to Disney? That's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. Especially, is that it's just. Nobody wants to think that way. No. You know, and everybody's no. got to be represented. Oh, absolutely. Everybody needs to be represented. Absolutely. I but, want every but, child on the planet to be able to turn on a Disney movie. And feel and like they see themselves yes, and have a home. Yes, that's absolutely. Vitally important. Okay. But to your Vital. point. But to your point. But we got Politics. Ugh. We got to get First everything all, else out. Who wants that? I know. I don't know. Nobody, <laughs> nobody wants Not that. when I'm watching a Disney show. No. Nah. That's the one time we get away from all that. That's right. Again, like. Politics, like, leave it out of it. it. You don't get political with this stuff, guys. You're an entertainment company. You're an imagination company. Like, you no, know, but it, what it is is for the viewer. It doesn't like matter for what walks of life you, you said are. Representation is everybody's represent re represented, which they need to be. Absolutely. Then, for goodness' sake, it doesn't matter what you look like or where you're from. No, we but all just, just want the same thing, and that is to escape all that. Right. 
And Disney used to be one of those places that everyone could go. That's what made it so special. Except the fact- Happiest place on earth. Except the fact that the representation has to be there. And that's something that I'm very proud of that Disney is moving forward with because it's got to happen. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. There's got to be something there for everybody. Absolutely. That's the, way it is. that's the whole point. That is that is key the, that element. is the point. Yeah, that's the that key the element. Point. That is the point. For goodness but, sakes, but I hope please. we can just get past this. Right. And well, because it, it's uh, all unfortunately what's what's dominating a lot of the 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 chatter and the talk now is just is is the politics of it, and well, that's not what you want. to When you're not making that takes you out of the imagination. When you start making. The decisions without integrity and without the love and without the purity of what the purpose is there you go. that's right. when it gets very clouded exactly. and and unfortunately it, it you know the risk is losing it losing, the whole brand losing, the whole losing, purity losing, of it right the, yep. the willingness and the confidence to know that you can go there and receive what you're looking for yeah which was so brilliant about disney because yeah. they, they delivered it was for so many was, years was, man was, well even they, now i mean they'll be able to ride the wake of what they've been delivered you know what they what they have delivered in the past for years to come. Right. That's why but, when I go to Disneyland, even I'm inspired. Oh, I, still I, love feel it. Grace, I still love it. I mean, yeah, it's awesome. It is. And it we is. had we had it's so Star memorable. Wars Land. Oh my god. Oh, it's now, great. Think about back in the day though. We used to spend so much time there as kids. And oh, stuff. We yeah. had like the coolest. So now I'm a personal the coolest oh, yeah. Disney yeah, experiences ever. We were ever. just lucky enough to be an employee of Disney, right, but we right. were also a fan. And through the combination of both those things, we got to experience Disney World in a way that not a lot of kids get I to know, experience. I know. And we were so fortunate. I know. Blessed to I have think that back even like one of the times that hits me right now is like. Remember, like, uh, uh, New Year's. Oh, 2000, 2000 too. 2000 in Unreal. Disney Millennial. World. Indigo, best fireworks to this day I've ever seen, no, man. Ever. Like, you know what the best, though, is that we had family. literally all of our family. Yeah. 30 family members all yeah. at Disney World. And we were there in Epcot. Mm. Oh. And in Florida, all the Orlando, countries. Disney World. We went, we so got drinks cool. in all the countries. And the fireworks went off in all so the country cool. colors yeah. in that. Yeah. I mean, it was that really magical. was a magical moment. Guys, yeah. I'll never, never forget, forget that. I'll never forget that. All the trips to Orlando. Oh my, oh my gosh! God. Back in the day, we used to do the parades. Remember at the mm -hmm. uh, studios they still have down there. They're Hollywood yep. Studios now, whatever they're called. But yeah. you know, uh, man, that was awesome. They put really our hands, so we put our hands in the cement at the uh, at the like the fake uh, Grauman's Theater. Yeah, yeah. They really, so really cool. hooked us up too. We were treated so well, and they really went. Yeah, they pulled out all the did. stops and uh, Animal awesome. Kingdom. Oh my God! The, oh, opening, the opening, opening of the Animal Kingdom yeah. with yeah. our grandparents. Yeah, it was the coolest thing. For me, ever, because they did a really good job. When they you walk did. down that main street, you really are, you could be in yeah. Kenya. You, right. You, they, the way the they tree did, of life. And, and and the baobabs that they have there from Madagascar. And they have real, like, they really did it. Yeah, they it. crushed it's, it. It's, it's yeah, awesome. It's so cool, man. They crushed oh, it. It's amazing. I just remember, even as, like, a little kid, you know. With our I grandparents. Remember, I mean, those oh, are the memories. Gosh, like Those are our safe, happy, happy Places, spots. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just... Old school Disneyland, you know, and that got, train so ride. Do you remember Here's when you, like this is, I mean, this is, totally, I mean, this is, you know, a little bit of smoke and mirrors here to bring back the curtains. Do you remember when you, you were, you, we, it was like a really hot day and we were going on a bunch of rides or something I and know you stopped at this, oh I don't even know what it was. It was like a vending machine or something. I remember this. I mean, no, it was. It was, anyway, so you got, you're like, I'm dying of thirst. I just need something. And so he got an orange juice. He's like, yeah, well, I want that orange juice. It was like an orange Fanta it's soda from something. a. A machine, machine or something. I don't know. And he, so he gets it and he starts chugging it. He's chugging it and chugging it. Chugging I it. remember seeing like... what it a big styrofoam cup. Yeah, okay. okay. This is and back in the in sunlight. The 90s. Lots yeah. of, in lots the of sun, ice. You, you could still see through the styrofoam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You could still see through it. It wasn't like... And yeah. it was an orange like Fanta soda. So he gets down to almost just the ice when it starts to go clear. It, it had the little baby crushed ice, which is my yeah. favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Little and he's like chewing ice. on the ice and... And he's just sucking it out. And I'm like, look down. Yeah, I'm like, what is that on the... In the middle of the ice... It almost looked like a dark spot, and I was like, "Yeah, so weird." You go through the ice, you sift through, it, and what and comes, what you find. Is a yeah. Massive cockroach. Three yeah, like three I mean, long. this thing is huge. Still moving. Yeah, so yeah like it was alive, which is actually probably better because that yeah, means it, like, it is better. It, it's healthier. If yeah, it was yeah. dead, it means it was been soaking in Ooh, there, guys, fermenting honestly, in that please, bottom of that glass please. for a while. At least it probably still was. You I know. got another story. Guys, and we still feel bad for to this day. You remember that? There was a rule again. We were we got to go behind the scenes, which was pretty fortunate. See, all I saw a goofy. Smoke. No, I was going to say you ruined oh, it. Sorry. So we were. They pulled us back there because. Well, you know, that's wait a minute. Right. And one of the characters, Goofy, had his head off, and he was smoking. Oh god. Yeah. They fired him. They did. Oh, we felt yeah. so bad. Yeah, they we did. weren't supposed to be back there, but they have this rule where you can't take off. Hey, your... boys. Yeah. <laughs> can't Dodge, take... everybody. Can't take Where's off. Where's Max? Head. You got to put you know this what cigarette one trip out. Forever, though, to Disney will ever stick in my mind is when we went there with Damn John. Damn you, John. Goofy. What? Went there with John. Oh. And John accompanied us. Yeah. John Travolta accompanied us down to Disney World. We were really close uh, with him, and uh, 
He's such a great guy. He what really a trip. Is. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's awesome. Just the van rides. Oh, it? man. The Dude, singing, I the know, laughing. I know. Yeah. Literally, it looked like something out of a cartoon. It did. Hardest laughter you'll ever hear. We're in a white van. They come pick us up at like, where are we staying? At the Uh, Grand Grand Floridian. Floridian. Grand Floridian. They come pick us up at this big white 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 van. And we're all singing it to the point where the van is like hopping. Yep. As it's going down. It looked like a a Looney Tunes special. Thank you so much for watching this clip of the Brotherly Love Podcast. For full episodes, go to the Brotherly Love Pod's YouTube channel. Link in the description. And for exclusive weekly bonus content, join our Patreon right now. That's right. There's a link in the description for that, too. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you. Thanks.